Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I apologize, it's been several days since I've been on, but trying to battle out of a very serious sickness that I've gotten here. It's affected my ability to talk very well, too. But uh, I wanted to just uh, come on and let you guys know um, that I should be pulling through things. I'm coming out of it now. But uh, I wanted for you to be able to uh, also see the Hurricane Ida update storm. Uh, I'm going to play this little clip for you here because this is a very serious storm anticipated to hit Louisiana. But you never know which way that storm is going to turn once it gets good into the Gulf. And they're talking about 140 mile an hour Category 4 hurricane. I've told you that we may see hurricanes as high as 200 miles per hour. So if you live in those areas, you know, you definitely want to consider where you're going soon. More now. Let's turn it over to Addison Green. And Rick and Ron, we can see that right here we have that satellite imagery for Hurricane Ida looking a little more characteristic of a strong and strengthening system. Now we have it as a Category 1 hurricane with winds of 80 miles per hour, but it's no longer looking shrimp like we were showing you yesterday. It's looking a little more circular, showing that we have that more closed circulation starting to develop, indicating it is going to be getting stronger. And then once it gets its way past Cuba, goes to the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It's kind of like an open buffet right there. You have all that warm water. You have no land to interact with, and you can be on a straight shot right in towards the coastal areas of the North Gulf Coast, precisely right there in Louisiana. Now, we have this latest forecast update coming in from the National Hurricane Center, having it becoming a Category 4 hurricane. It's a major hurricane right there with winds sustained of 140 miles per hour, making a possible landfall as early as Sunday around 1 o'clock or so, just south of New Orleans. But then once it moves inland, within about 12 to 18 hours or so, it'll be... And just keep in mind the one thing that you got to remember, it could slow down in its forward motion, which would give it more time to build even stronger. They did change the, the height of the storm surge all the way up to 15 feet, 10 to 15 foot storm surge. So it's definitely a storm that is not going to be playing games. So like I said, you definitely want to consider what what your, you and your family should be doing to prepare for this. I would definitely, if I was anywhere on the Gulf Coast, would not want to be near the Gulf Coast at any rate. At least go more to the northern parts of the states there uh, north is always better than east or west because you never know if the storm is going to change direction. And we've seen that happen far too many times. Uh, they show it's going to go, it's going to curve to the right anyway, uh, basically based on the fronts that would come in. But if it slows down, that curving to the right could be even sooner. And Louisiana may not be that target area. It could be Mississippi or Alabama or even northwest Florida. So no matter where you are in the path of this thing, it's going to be devastating. At any rate, Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live.